Hello everyone and welcome to another one of my Wizard of 101 videos. Today I'm going to be going over the Arcane Builders Bundle. This card is available at GameStop for $39. In this bundle comes with a Build a Castle Plot and Pieces, Arcane Hand Card, Twin Arcane Automatons, Arcane Smith's Gear, Arcane Smith's Hammer, and One Month or 5,000 Crowns. Something new that came out, a new feature that came out with this bundle is a build it your own castle, which I will get into in a minute. First, I want to go over the gear and the mount and pet and things like that. Right here is the mount. You sit on the back and the little automatons work it for you and they fight. Classic. Yes. Awesome. Love it. So there's the mount. And here is the stats of the gear. I have it for level 90 and Something that kind of, I don't know, it doesn't make me mad, it just irks me a little bit, is none of this gear comes with health. So basically, it's non-usable, unless you're ice or something that has like a lot of natural health. But I don't see me using this. So this is for level 90. Um... They implemented armor piercing in this set instead of health, I suppose. So there's the hat. Here is the robe. Also, with the armor piercing. And here are the boots for level 90 with the armor piercing as well. Here is the wand, which also includes armor piercing, and a good amount of block. And here is the pet, pets I should say. It comes with a Wild Bolt card. I have not trained this yet, but here are the slots. Um, people are saying that it has stun resist on it. So, I will look into that, but I've seen some with stun resist on it, so it's probably true. I probably should have trained mine, but whatever. The mount is one person. I showed you that already. I'm going to get off the mount to show you the wand. And the gear closer. Okay. Now on to the house. I thought when I got the bundle and came to this house, I thought that this was the main house, but it's not. There is actually two houses that came with the bundle. The door opens and closes as you walk towards it. And also you can see out these windows partially. And since you can have mounts outside, once you walk through here, the mount doesn't come off. So you can basically have mounts in this house, but the one that's in the other area of the island itself 
is actually inside and does not allow mounts. So let's go through this. This is right when you enter. And just this is the um the build it comes with uh, by default, but you can get creative and move things around and rebuild the whole house entirely. I will show you that feature in a second. And also, the secret rooms and, and such, they have the entrance kind of grayed out. It's, it's a different color than the other tiles. It's, it's kind of like a darker gray. And that means that you can walk through it to the secret rooms. So yeah, that's that. That's the first little um, house. And from the outside you can go in these as well. They're like little towers. There's one on each side. But with this bundle, they introduced a build it your own house and you can take these these are all parts everything that, that you see here is like a puzzle put together you can move them around make different structures it's it's like a puzzle piece that you can live inside it's a puzzle you can live inside is what I meant just move them around move them wherever make different floors um, change the size it's really cool I don't know how I'm going to do with that because I'm not that creative, but I will have to get some ideas off other people. Alright, let me put my mount on and show the rest of the house, of the outside actually. Not much going on everywhere else, just flat land basically. This is a entrance into a separate room of the house. That's basically the outside. Not much going on, but it's fl mostly flat land to give you room to create where, what, whatever you want, wherever you want, which I like. Like you could do something here on this plot. It it's basically a free for all, get creative type house. I'm kind of interested to see what people will do with this. Let's go into the main structure, which is in here. I'm calling this the main structure because, one, it looks a lot bigger, and two, there the bank is actually in this area. So, not much going on in here, area-wise. Um, just in a cave. I don't know what you could do here, but... Just a cave with a waterfall. A couple waterfalls, actually. So, this one is a bit bigger. 
all the rooms, two towers you can go in. There's another area in here. A little deck. Then, trying to figure out how to navigate this place. I'm trying to get upstairs. <laughs> no clue where I'm going. I've obviously have not been here too often. Little, little area here. Windows that you can still kind of see out of. Another level of the tower that's outside. Little rooms, another deck area. Another one. And then upstairs at the very, not the very top, almost the very top, you can see the round, and then in here, another little area, and then up here is the very top, and you go through this wall. And it brings you to a little onlooking point that goes around the whole house. I'm sure that's not supposed to happen. But yeah, that's basically the default build. And just like the other one, you can move all of these pieces around, make whatever you want, do whatever you want with them. Move different pieces, put them wherever. Really, a lot of customization in this. I like it. I like it a lot. Let me get back out of here. If I could figure out where I'm going, that would be wonderful. Oh. Okay. So that is the main structure. Then around the house is just little, I don't know, walking areas, I guess. bridge leads over there to the house just basically goes around I guess to give you more of a building platform more area to look never mind hmm that's unfortunate. Hmm. Might be a bug. So yeah, that's that's about it for this bundle. Another thing that they have with this bundle 
is there are three different houses. There's this one, which is the midday estate, and two others. One of them is the, um, it's like in a night-themed area. I don't know what it's called. I think it's Meadows at Dusk. And then there's another one. But the thing is, when you get the bundle and you get the items in your gift box, there's not an option to redeem which house you want. You automatically get the midday estate for your first purchase of the bundle, the second house you get of your second purchase of the bundle, then the last purchase of the bundle you get the, I think, Meadows at Dusk, which is um, not very good on their part, in my opinion, because you'd have to buy the bundle three times to get everything from the bundle, which is not fair at all. I think you should have an option when you redeem it which house you want, or to be able to look at them first, preview them, but if you want all three houses, you have to buy the bundle three times, which is over $100. That's I think it's 120 maybe more than that, which is not fair for one bundle. It, I mean, you get the exact same items, the same gear, same pet, same mount, same one. Everything's the same, except the house is in a different area, and it's a different size. I just don't like that at all. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and see you in the next one.